Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McHare and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be voicing over here because this was a video from a while ago, like three months ago when I was on my CD kick for clocks. And let me just get right to talking here. That was a homemade navy blue. This is a combination of my Chantilly Lace and Iridescent Pearl by Golden. That is Golden's Iridescent Bronze. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting ready to do a swipe. That is DecoArt's Sky Blue Topaz. So I resurrected the video because I finally finished the clock and I'm going to share it with you at the end of this. That is Van Dyke's Brown by Arteza. And I'm going back with another dab of that navy blue that I laid down first. So that's the last color I'm laying down before I load up my palette knife with my white and black American Floetrol cell activator. And the white is titanium white and the black is oxide white by Amsterdam. So that's the palette knife I'm going to use. And I'm just going to load it up with the cell activator and we'll get our swipe on. So here I'm just blowing into the paint to see if I can get any more cells up and also to see how the paint is reacting and moving. So yeah, all I'm doing here is just giving it a stretch, just seeing how much I'm going to get the paint to take over the top of this CD before I go ahead and spin it out. I'm trying to also kind of get it the way I want it to lay before I start to spin it in the first place. I'm really happy with it so far because it's got a good amount of negative space and still a lot of interest in the way the swipe came out. Grab some of this. So I'm gonna pick up the pace here and turn on some music. You can see what's going on. Thank you. 
So this is the final result of this swipe, and actually it turned out to be a really easy swipe and very cooperative. And one day at my friend Bruce's house up the street, I spotted this piece of sassafras that he was using to make wine corks from. So it had all these holes in it, and I said, I really like that piece and like to work with it, and he let me have it. So I had to first figure out the best way to fill the drill holes, and I went to Michael's and found this modeling clay, and I went ahead and started filling the holes layer by layer until I got the depth I wanted. And then after that, I painted them black. And I cleaned and rubbed the surface with mineral spirits too. And then I returned it to my neighbor who then lasered in Asheville, which is our town's name. So then with everything together, I finally finished the piece and here's the final result. So I hope you enjoyed the video and all of the after process that went into this. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and you'll get all my latest art tutorials. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care and we'll see you next time.